Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you all fine and we'll come again in uh, a new video it will be about BIOS repair and we're going to deal with the case in electronic repair school discord server in BIOS me repair clean the case here is uh, on HP 250 G5 the guy here requested BIOS repair so let's just begin by uh, downloading the the dump his dump let's put it in here let's create another folder with his name uh, hola hola wale yes if I still remember that should be the name yes I have already done uh, some of his cases before so let's save the damp air yes hola wale yes that's the name let's open the folder so here we have the 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 damp so next step is simply we have to to look for uh, an executable file of this uh, uh, HP 250 G5 but uh, in fact the the best way to press the search for that is to check if we can find the serial number in this dump and use it as a keyword for searching Oh, sorry, 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 oh, sorry, sorry, friend, sorry, friend, recording a video right now. Uh, can't. sorry guys let's go back to our work so I said uh, we have to look if we can find the serial number in this uh, uh, dump so we just open it with uh, your AFI tool and let's check normally it should be in the first pad in here let's uh, check with the hex view yes here we got it here so this is the serial number Control c to copy but in fact it will copy the hex value but no problem we can go here to any browser and tape here uh, let's say hex to text yes and here we paste the hex and we choose hex number to text sorry let's do that again so here we have we should include the D control C let's go back here control V and here we got it cap it and we go to HPC4 yes and uh, here we paste and we submit let's just wait for the results so here we got HP 250 G5 notebook PC exact model for which we are looking for the BIOS file 
let's wait for the the old drivers to load here we choose the BIOS firmware we download it to our working folder the same folder on which the lamp is yes here so let's create another folder inside the working folder let's name it exe and let's open so we have the dump and the executable file uh, so I can use uh, LBO for extraction but let's just do it by executing the file uh, here we just click on next yes accept or we can extract using universal extractor here we will get another executable file yes this one and then we can execute this one directly or you just execute the other one it's the same in fact so let's wait let's close this and uh, here we have let's go next let's choose copy the BIOS image to any location uh, next so wait for the program let's just wait and we browse and we give the path to our working folder in so where so we are in desktop yes uh, there is where here and we have hola wale and we have exe yes okay so we are in that folder and let's go next here we got the files and the folder is automatically opened by this tool anyway let's finish this and as you can see here we got so many files with the right size 8 megabyte file so we have it's the yes that's the size 8 megabyte uh, BIOS file so let's close this sorry so we have so which one to use uh, that's a simple thing to figure out we just use as you can see here we have all files begins all the files begins with 081 so let's go back here and open the dump with the hex editor and let's search for uh, as we said the files begin with 0 8 1 enter so we got this the first result let's see by pressing F3 again if we can get something uh, that begins with byte yes here we have it B I D 081 F2 F2 we got the number which we need so this one so we need this one let's copy it go back to the main folder and let's paste it here so we got the file that's it so now we just need to uh, to copy or to uh, replace the padding which contains the DME informations 
of uh, the machine so the padding uh, that contains the info in fact is the same padding in from which we have uh, located the serial number this padding so this one this one should have the dame info so we have to extract this one using uh, any UFI tool and then replace uh, the same padding in this file so this is the dump which we have opened already to check the serial number and there we have the update file which we have extracted from the executable file so that's really simple to do let's just extract this as is and uh, let's keep the same name or we can so to make things clear just call it demi and save in the same uh, working folder so now we can so the first button so now we can let's keep this here so here we have the button now let's open this one with UFI tool version 0.28 which allows us to replace the padding the volumes of the hex file let's clear this so the first padding this one should be replaced as is and we choose the padding that we have extracted from the backup which contains the serial number and the other uh, DME info informations of the machine so let's open so here we just save so as you can see here here we have replace remove replace which which means the first but the, the the original padding will be removed and it will be replaced with the one containing the DME information so let's save the let's add here sorry again uh, with demi fixed and it's save yes let's open so we have clear if we go back to here where we have let's go back let's just go back 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 again so if we copy this and we go to here so this is the the one f uh, the update file or in which we have added the dem info to check if that's correct we just hit control f control v to pass the hex value and let's okay so found and if we double click here it takes us to the padding which contains it that's it and the file now can be used directly uh, to program the the BIOS file the BIOS chip so let's replay to this guy and give him the file to use here so try this and feed back please so feedback is really important to know if things are done correctly so that's it enter let's analyze this file with the 
me analyzer let's compare with the original enter so size same the same yes the same thing One. that's fine the file is ready to use I hope that I was clear in explaining here how we can do that and uh, I hope we will see each other in another video and we came to the end of this one and uh, take care and bye bye